Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hold on. I don't want to scare y'all with how I look real quick, but I was doing makeup earlier today, so I look a little ooh, ooh, colorful. And we're gonna cook. We're gonna improvise because supermarkets are dry. Dry, dry, dry. So we're gonna make it do what it do with what I got. Hold on, hold on. Hmm. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. All right. Suck it. Oh, my heart hurt. <laughs> Hi, guys. We back. We back in this kitchen. We back in the damn kitchen. We back. Okay. How's everybody? Hi, baby. Hi, Janetti. Hi, 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 me. Hi, Carlos. Hi, everybody. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Denise. It's been a grip. Chili, como esta? How's everybody doing, Miss Rhonda? Mwah. How's everybody doing, Miss Lynn? Jasmine. <laughs> How's everybody? All right, listen. So the supermarket is dry as hell. So I wanted to do a nice Alfredo sauce, but there ain't much cheese. There ain't much of nothing going on in the supermarket. The market is dry. Okay, I've been everywhere. And I can't find much of a lot of anything. Yesterday, Randy told me to get some bread, and I ended up getting hamburger buns. Potato bread, but hamburger hamburger buns because there was there was nothing. There was nothing. So we're gonna improvise. Y'all know how I like to improvise. You know? I make it do what it do. Kelvin was good. Tiff. <laughs> Hi Alexa. Listen. So we're gonna boil some pasta, right? And I know that if I would've started my chicken, it would've never ended. It would've never finished. So I would've never been able to show it. So I did it already in advance. I just I did two stuffed chicken breasts with, uh, I stuffed them with cheese, with cheese, a little bit of red sauce in there. I did peppers. Um, I did green onions. And then I put breadcrumbs all over it. And I seasoned them real good. I seasoned them with like what? Adobo, salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of uh, Creole, a little bit of everything. A little bit of whatever you want. I'm back, Robert. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> What's good, Nyla? What's good? Okay, so these are the chicken breasts. They're pretty. They're done though. They're just waiting for the pasta. To get done, let me move them around a little bit because I haven't moved them. But they're good, they're pretty. Look at that sauce. Hold on. I left it in there just a little bit too long, but I can still grab and I can still put a little bit on top. And it's okay because if that if that this happens, it's okay. Just a little bit of olive oil and it's a go. It's a go. It'll be all right. It, they're buttered up anyways. This is the chicken. So I'm gonna knock out this pasta real quick. Once it gets all done. But what's good? Let's talk. What's good? Gloria. Yeah, you have to be, right? You gotta be. That's what I'm gonna do. I, I looked and I was like, I can't use my parm. My parm went bad, but there was none. I went, I only have a little bit of mozzarella cheese. So it's like, yo, like I can't really. Supermarkets are just dry. I don't know what's going on. But, you know, we need to pray. I think we need to pray. I think this is a, a time, you know, every time is a good time to pray, right? But I think we need to pray a little bit more. I think we're just being tested by the good Lord. What's good, everybody? Tiff, you like the eyes? 
I got compliments. I stepped out of my comfort zone and I stepped out for like half hour. And I got a lot of compliments. A lot of compliments. I have fun doing it. All right, let me start these asparagus. Let me see. Let me get this. Let me get that pan going. What's good? All right. How you doing, Gloria? Lulu, Anaudi, como esta? Estamos cocinando. We're cooking. We're improvising. We're improvising. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm gonna do some asparagus. I got I got them in water, and I'm gonna just like saute these in some butter, right? And then I'm gonna just do some nice little. I don't know. I'll make it up as I go, but they're gonna be good. But I want them to have sort of like a, I don't know, for some reason like a little sweet, sweet kind of taste. So I know that I'm gonna throw some honey in there. Somewhere, somewhere, what's good Brooklyn? <laughs> what's in the cup? In the cup, some Ciroc, some Ciroc, and my grape juice. That's what's in my cup. What's in your cup? What's in your wallet? <laughs> Let me get this. some like tomatoes and that sauce that I'm gonna make that I'm gonna hook up somehow some way I'm gonna throw some I'm gonna chop up some tomatoes and throw it in my sauce in my sauce all right so I was out because I was reported admins had me punished admins had me on lockdown so what I ask of you is to please like and share my video, please. You know, follow me, Yaris Morales. Obviously, you're on the page. You can follow my other page. It's, it's Survive With Yaris. You can find me on Instagram, on Morales Garcia Yaris. You can find me wherever you want to find me. You can find me on Snap. You can find me. I just started a TikTok. So, yeah, you can find me. Um, just to have fun. I cook and I do makeup. And in the near future, I'll be doing much more, hopefully. So, to know me is to love me. You know? You know? Can nobody, can nobody promote you better than you? Right? All right. And I like butter. Y'all know I love my butter. Y'all know I like my butter. So we're going to make this buttery. All right? Just like the sauce. I'm going I'm to leave this right here because I need you right there. Stay right there. They had me reported for anything and everything. So I have my music down. I'm trying not to smoke. If I smoke, I'll take a puff over here and I'll just blow it in there so that you can catch it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. So I'm just trying to be good. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to do this right. You know? You see? kill you. <coughs> okay. <coughs> See? That's <coughs> a good, that's a good, good. <coughs> oh. All right. So I'm going to put a little bit of my just because I want to. You don't have to. But really, really just some salt and pepper and garlic for real, for real. And call it a DZ day. Right? 
A lot, not a lot. We're gonna bring her out because we're gonna have to use her. I'm gonna have to use her. Some garlic. And we're gonna let that just cook, do whatever it wants to do. What's going on here? It got stuck on me. There we go. There we go. Some pepper. Enough. This pasta, hold up, hold up, hold up. We'll leave it in there for a few more seconds. Whoa. All right, some mixed garlic. Oh, what happened? What happened? Garlic in here. Right? I love asparagus. Hell yeah. <laughs> Report me. Report me. Report me. All right, we're going to let that sit there. But hold up because y'all know how I am. And I need a napkin and damp it a little bit and wipe down my stove because all that damn dust from, from the seasoning. You got to clean as you go. Now let me get a plate. Hold up. I'm doing this all wrong. Thank you, Brie. Thank you. I did it today on a live. <laughs> All right, I want some honey. I want some honey in my asparagus. Yeah, I do. Why not? want that little soul, that little glaze to create. Ugh, come on, give me more. Ugh, whatever. Put you right there, because I might need you again. <laughs> and let them just, let them just sit there. And I don't like my asparagus all soggy either. Like, I don't know about y'all, but like, I like my asparagus with a little bit of a crisp to it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jodies? All right. So let me take this pasta out so that I can do that. Mix up that sauce real quick. Give it some life. Okay. Let's empty this. Hold on, guys. Give me these. Hold on. I'm just taking the pasta out, draining it. I'm taking the little ones that are that are stuck to it. There we go. Because I need this. Let those sit there for a second. Who I just got a freaking noodle facial. What the hell? What's going on? How do you get this burger? It's crispy. Baby, I just don't, I don't boil them. I don't do anything. I buy them at the store. I bring them home. I wash them and I just throw them in the pan and I just dress it up, dress it up like you just saw me hooking it up right now and just 
add whatever you like flavors to it and you just let it kind of like cook like just like saute like put it like on a little medium heat at first and then just try it as it go and what however crispy you like it just turn it off i just like it with a little a little crisp like right now let me see Lord, thank God for nails. Thank God for nails. Woo! It's hot, but let's see. Perfect. I turn them off. And that's what you get. These asparagus. And the sauce is delicious. In one, two, three. You saw how I made that? Oh, good. Whatever Alfredo sauce you like, that's the one you're gonna put in there. Let me move this over here because it's popping. Okay? I happen to get this one. It's good. I like it. Okay? So then, I'm gonna add some more butter. A lot of it. <laughs> right? And then I'm gonna bring you right back. And then I'm gonna get some heavy cream. Where are you? Oh. Okay. Goodness. Oh boy. I'm gonna put some more heavy cream in there. Oh, this is dripping. What's going on? All right. I don't know what happened there. All right, we're good with that. Oh, oh stop fail. Yo, what is the most? I got a question for y'all. What is the most? that you've ever paid for a bottle of water? What's been the, 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 the highest amount that you paid for a, a water? What's the most you spent? I'm gonna throw some parsley, some good old parsley. That was at the store. Thank God. Cause y'all know how I am with my parsley and my cilantro. 289. Five dollars. Three. Hmm. Okay. I want to hear two or three more numbers. Let's bring a little simmer to this. A little bit more. Let's see. Four dollars, seven dollars. Disney, I believe that. Okay. This is water. Ever heard of that brand? That name? We paid, okay, at a pizzeria over the weekend for two of these bottles, two of these bottles came up to almost $13. Do the mouth. No, I'm sorry, I'm lying, $13 my ass, I'm sorry. Each of these bottles were like $8, $9 a piece. That we were like, what the hell is going on? Like almost $20 for two bottles, okay? With a large pizza, just a pie. A pie, two of these waters, a large pie, that wasn't even large because to be honest, it looked like what a small Papa John's or uh, a medium Domino's pizza would look like, you know, that, that size, that was a large for them. Two of these waters 
and one little tiny piece of cheesecake. Kid you not, like this small. $52. $52. So <laughs> we were like, yo. And I didn't even drink it all. You know why? Because it tastes freaking like metal, like lead. Like it's just, I didn't finish it. And I didn't fucking throw it away. You know why? Because I, I, I feel like, I feel, I feel bad if I throw it away. Does that make me retarded? Oh my God. I was like, we were like, what the fuck is going on? We couldn't even believe it. I said, we're keeping the, I'm keeping the bottom. <laughs> Retarded prices. We were like, oh my God. Okay. But it was really nice though. I, I guess you pay for your view, right? Don't, do you believe in that? Do y'all, do y'all know that? You pay for your views. You pay for where you sit. It's not really the food. It's not really... It's not really the food. It's not really even the dish. It's not. It's your the view. It's where you're sitting. It's your location. If you're in like a, a down kind of place, you're gonna pay money. But if you're in like a nice, I you're gonna pay money. And it's like we were in a very very nice area, but it was like wow. Never in my life have I ever paid no freaking eight, nine, ten dollars for a bottle of water. <laughs> Okay, so I put some parsley in there and some cilantro, right? And I'm gonna hook it up with some more garlic powder. Right? And since I ain't got no cheese, I ain't got no cheese, I am gonna put one The little tiny bit of freaking mozzarella that I have in here because I just want some sort of more cheese in it. So this is what we're gonna put. Cause that's what it is, right? Blame it on the store. And we're gonna let that cheese just melt in like 15 seconds. And we're gonna serve this plate. And dinner is done tonight. That chicken, I had it in the oven for like two hours because I had it on low heat. I had it on like 325, you know, 315, 325. And I just let that baby just do its thing. I just let it cook for like two and a half hours or so. So it's that's the most, that's, it's gonna take the longest. You know what I mean? But you got yourself good old meal. Or you could cheat and cook the and cook the breast on the stove. You know what I mean? Cheat like that too. It's quicker ways, but I did it in the oven. But this is from a, a bottle, if you will. But I hooked it up with some more flavors. Let me cut like two of these tomatoes for me. Hold on, guys. Hold on. And then I'm gonna serve that plate. And then I'm gonna serve it. That's enough for me. And I don't mind having them nice and chill. I don't mind that at all. All right, let me get a plate. Let me get a plate. over here. Let me bring these here and put them in a the bowl. And I should have done that. So sorry. You probably wanted to have done this in advance, but I'm sorry. It's okay. They still nice and hot. But I forgot to put the butter in the, on the pasta. You know? Because it was supposed to be buttered pasta. But it's okay. I got it right now. It's alright. It'll work. Where is, let me get the plug. Let me get the plug. And I'm gonna just put pepper on this pasta, and that's it. Because for real, for real, 
already dressed up that salt and the asparagus have tons of flavor too so we don't need all that in the pasta too and the chicken got it too so it'll be all right all right let me stir this i could put it there we go it's coming I love butter pasta. I'll eat butter pasta by itself just like that with fresh parsley. Oh my God. I love it. There you go. Hold on. Oh no, it's up here. It's up here. So. Hold on. Get some fresh parsley. I wish I had some freaking uh, cheese, uh, the cheese that I really, really, really want. All right, let me grab one of these breasts. For me you hear me you hear me and that's dinner for tonight that stuffed chicken breast with some good old cheese you know some pepper some green onions I put some crumbs on top breadcrumbs over it I glazed it up really good with some seasoning I hooked up the asparagus you know with some honey and just some salt pepper butter you know what I mean and I hooked up the sauce a little bit more, and this is what it gave with some butter pasta. <laughs> you can't go wrong. You hear me though? You hear me? Thank you. Let me try. I want the asparagus. Mmm. That's good. Let me try it. Let me try it. Let me try it. Let me try this, and then I'm gonna exit out. I just made you a cute dinner for your boo. A simple dinner. You hear me? You better hook it up for him. Now let me get in the middle. Let me get in there. Well, that's that sounds so crunchy. Let me see this. <laughs> it's delicious. Huh. Hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. That's a meal for you. Guys. Right? Thank you. for tuning in i love coming back i'll see you guys tomorrow or thursday 
for sure. Thank you for supporting me. Follow me. Like and share my video, please. Thank you for vibing with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And listen, stay prayed up in this situation. I hope everybody is just making the best of it. All jokes aside, you know, you are in my prayer. You know, um, stay calm, stay collective, stay positive, stay prayed up, like I said. Because only he knows. You know what I mean? But do what y'all do. Have fun. Enjoy the rest of your night. Have I was glad to be back. I'll see you next time. Listen, if one thing's for sure, two things for certain. Always, always, always keep God first. Bye.